Do you want to listen to podcasts or live radio stations on your Echo? Do you want to do it natively without any skills or signing up for any services? In this video, I'll show you how. But first, I want to say hi, my name is Craig and this is my Tech Talk. I love learning about new features on the Echo and sharing it with you. So if you have any comments or questions, please share them. Also, check out the description. There's links to the Echo so you can learn more about them, buy them, and anything else I might have missed in there. So let's get started. For anybody outside of the United States, I did try to read up on this feature as much as I could and I did not find anything that said about limitations. I assume any limitations that you might have in your country might have to do with iHeartRadio and TuneIn. So let me know if this works for you and if so what kind of experience you have with it. I don't know where I've been. I don't remember seeing this option. I didn't know you can do podcasts or live radio stations on the Echo. This maybe has been out the whole time and I've just missed it. But now I do know about it. I know that I can listen to live radio stations or a lot of my favorite podcasts right off the Echo. You have the choice to either ask for radio stations and podcasts, or you can use the app and search for what you're looking for, save it as a favorite, and bring it up whenever you want. With Tuned in, you can actually use multi-room music and play stuff on multiple echoes, which I'll show you later. I have a dot right here, we'll show you that. With iHeartRadio, you're limited to whatever device you decide to initially play your podcast or streaming music. There's a few things I like about this. One, it is free. Two, it doesn't require a skill or weird wording to figure out how to ask for anything. Three, it doesn't require me to sign up for any kind of service or subscription or anything else. I can natively bring this stuff up. Let me show you how it works. The easiest way to bring something up, but with the least amount of choices, and at times could be the frustrating way, depending what you're asking for, is to use your voice. So let's try it out. Let's ask for radio stations. So let's try computer play NPR. Welcome to NPR. Tell me the name of the station you want to hear or say browse by location. Browse by location. Okay, tell me your zip code now or say browse by city and state. The names of the stations are KCRW, KPCC, and KCLU. Which station would you like to hear? KCRW. Live from NPR, here's KCRW. Presenting Vans Custom Computer Pause. Okay, that's the first time that I tried to bring up NPR, so that was kind of cool that I tried to customize where I was at. Let's try another radio station. Computer, I want to mm -hmm. listen to ESPN Radio. ESPN Radio from TuneIn. I'm now in the third round where you've probably, on most boards, exhausted Pretty the cool. guys that you really want to go and get. Computer stop. Computer, I want to listen to KROQ. KROQ from TuneIn. Hey everybody, it is Stryker. I say it on the air, but maybe not often as I Computer like to, stuff? Thank you. That was bringing it up based on the call letters of the radio station. Now let's try a couple of podcasts. Computer, I want to listen to the newest episode of The Nerdist. Getting the latest episode of The Nerdist. Here it is from TuneIn. Welcome to the ID10T podcast number 954. Computer uh, stuff. I do like how it actually tells you where it got it from. Computer, play the Ricky mm. Gervais podcast. Getting the latest episode of the Ricky Gervais podcast. Here it is from TuneIn. Testing. Testing. This is Ricky Gervais. Computer, series. pause. That is how you bring a podcast. Asking for the next podcast and all that. I'm not sure on all the commands of those. I think it's going to take a little trial and error. And I wasn't seeing a list of commands on any of Amazon's uh, websites. Let's pull out the phone. And we're going to do this on the app next. Open up the Alexa app from the home screen of the Alexa app. In the upper left hand corner hit the three lines and you will see music, video, and books. 
you want to select that. This is where you could pick some different services that will tie in with your Echo device. If you look at the top, it currently says everywhere. This is where you pick where you want stuff to actually go to. I want to use the Office Echo. And I'm going to go to TuneIn. If I go to TuneIn, you can see Office Echo on the top. And I can go through and I can browse. And then you see down here, here's my favorites that I've actually picked. But let's say I want to go to local radio. I can click on local radio, start scrolling through, and here's all my radio stations that are local. Let's see, by location, let's look for Europe, and let's check out Belgium. Here are all the most popular stations in Belgium. So let's just grab a Dutch station. Computer pause. If you go to the bottom right, you'll see the little steps, the little bars. That's a little EQ. If you click on that, and you'll see this is where your playback controls are. This, the app side, it's a little funky. I'm not a huge fan of the app. If you look on here, this is, you can pick your devices that you're controlling. Everywhere is a group I made. With TuneIn, I can do multi-room music. With iHeartRadio, I cannot. If I wanted to add this as a favorite station, you're gonna wanna go to your queue and then hit the little arrow and select favorite station. You'll see if I go back to my music video and books and go down to tune in, I'll see that at the bottom there that was added to my favorites. Let's look at iHeartRadio real quick. I do have one favorite. It's a Gary Vaynerchuk, his podcast. In iHeartRadio, you can also go to local stations. And here's the list right down here. That's how you would pick something. I'm actually going to do that right now. I'm going to pick the Gary V Audio Experience. This it's is the Gary here. V Audio Experience. I can go to the little oh, EQ God. in the corner. You'll see that it's clunky at times. So now that's playing here. And it's playing from my heart radio. Let's go to Tuned In. Now with Tuned In, I'm going to select one of my favorites, but I'm going to go up top and I'm going to change where I listen to it. I'm going to change that to Everywhere. Number 954. The Nerdist is playing uh, now, episode, Everywhere. To that in a moment. See, this is playing baseball, on both devices. We'll we got this in one. Chicago at North Bar. Friday, April 27th, and this one here Saturday, playing, which is kind of cool. Uh, so if you do want to stream Friday, show, stations, the computer show pause. Live. And when you do ask for it to pause, it will pause all the devices at once. I do like that, that you could pick a local radio station or one of your favorite podcasts and send it throughout your house. Good stuff. I like it. That's a look at playing podcast and radio stations on your Echo devices. I do like the feature. I like that it is free. It does not require a skill or any weird wording. And it does not require me to sign up for any service. It is included. It is more content. And I had no idea it was there. So I'm glad to find out about it. We need more work on the app side. It is very clunky. You have to go one place to look for content and then go back to the player, but then pick your devices. So that needs to work. And also some of the commands, knowing what other commands are out there. I do like that TuneIn allows you to do multi-room uh, music so you can play your podcast or music in other rooms. That's a look at podcasts and radios. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, put them down below. I do have a question for you. Do you listen to podcasts or stream radio? And do you think this is going to add value to you? So please let me know, put your answers down in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button and share it with a friend. And if this is your first time watching one of these videos and you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. And you'll be notified when other videos come out. Thank you for watching this one and have a great day. Bye.